Good morning, staff and students. My name is not Leo Castillo. And my name is John Carestis, and today is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. It is also National Visit Your Relatives Day, even though it makes zero sense for it to be on a Tuesday. I agree, John, but let's start these announcements off right with everybody standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go to the God of the bandera of the Estados Unidos of America, and the republic that represents the nation, bow to Dios, and decide to be a decide for all. And now we have Alex for some more wacky history. Hello staff and students, my name is Alex Morningan, and today I'm going to give you a piece of history. Did you know that tablecloths were meant to be used as jumbo-sized napkins? They were invented to be used as napkins after a messy dinner with a big group of people. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Whoever invented tablecloths were a little weird back then, because he made white cloth ones. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of a design flaw. Well, anyway, next up we have Mia Bella's interview with Miss Betsy. Hello and good morning, Tony Hellerman. My name is Mia Bella, and today I am joined with Miss Owens. So I was wondering, Miss Owens, if you got a chance to live in any other time period, which one would you choose and why? Uh, I was adopted as a baby, and so I think I'd like to go back to the 70s, 80s, and redo my childhood with my biological family, my siblings, who I just connected with about three years ago. And I want to relive all those hairband 80 metal music guys all over again, so. Interesting choice. I would have to live in the 1950s because I feel like life would just be so much more adventurous. And like the social norm back then was to for girls just to get graduate high school and get married. But I would want to change that social norm and become a businesswoman and do a bunch of adventurous things and show women that you're more than just getting married. And I would do this. I would try to do this without changing the course of history. Well, I hope you have a great day. Stay positive. Bye. Bye. We just love Miss Betsy here at Hillman. Great interview, Mia Bella. And now, Jordan, I think it's time you told us about some sports. Hi everyone, it's Jordan Aguilar, I'm back with your sports. You know what sounds like a really fun sport? Egg tossing. Egg tossing is just tossing an egg. You, there is a variety of egg tossing games and one of the most popular is tossing an egg to your other partner. And the person that doesn't drop the egg wins a prize. Well, let's see what that looks like. Well, that seems like a pretty cool sport. Well, I'll see you guys this Friday. Those sound pretty interesting, Jordan. Interesting indeed. Now let's hear from our awesome council members about the upcoming Spirit Day. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Castillo, your student council president. And I'm Ashreen Clark, your secretary. And I'm Ms. Rohendra, your sixth grade representative. And I'm Maya Phillips, your vice president. We have some exciting news. The student council is sponsoring a Spirit Week. On Wednesday, May 19th, will be Twin Day. You and your friend can go as twins. And this Thursday, May 20th, is a formal day. Make sure to dress formally. And next Monday, May 24th, will be Disney Day. You can dress in any Disney attire. We hope to see you all participating in our Spirit Week, and I'll see you next time. We can't wait to see all of the end-of-school-year school spirit. Now, Luke, give us an interesting joke of the day. Good morning. Today, I'm to staff and students. My name is Zix Martin, and welcome back to Joke of the Day. So tell me. What do you call a droid that takes the long way around? R2-D tour. Ooh, Star Wars jokes. Love it. And I love your facts, not Leo. So what is today's? Fun fact, movie trailers originally had the trailers playing after the movie finished. I hope it was trailers for other movies, or else that would be kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, um, well, anyway, remember that Miss Ramsey will no longer be holding tutoring lessons after school for the rest of the year. And 8th graders, we have some shoutouts from you from all the amazing people here at Tony Hillerman. Uh, congratulations whoever from your good pal, me, Rocket. Congratulations from Ms. Bramlett's awesome advisory class of 2021. Namaste. Hi 8th graders, it's me, Ms. Bramlett. Wanted to wish you all a congratulations. Um, it's been great knowing all of you guys these years. I had many of you in sixth grade for Spanish, some of you in seventh grade for math, and even a couple of you in eighth grade for student aid. Uh, I've gotten to know you well. I wish you the best in high school. 
this has been a tough year and you've pushed through keep on going no matter whether you win or lose everything is a lesson to be learned remember what bob ross says no mistakes just happy accidents congratulations again and special shout out to logan moss congrats um super proud of all of you guys creators so i just wanted to thank you guys for a wonderful year i had such a good year with you guys even though this year was super weird and this whole online thing you guys did great and i've had one of my best years of teaching i really enjoyed getting to know all of you thank you so much for being awesome i wish you the best in the future and we will see you soon hey there eighth graders it's uh me mr bill i uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of a shout out say congratulations on completing what will hopefully be your hardest or strangest year hopefully the, the strangest um you know, y'all did really good work this year and we are all proud of you. So uh, if you need anything, come on back and uh, let us know. Good luck. That's all folks. Have a great day.